Jay. Welcome back to the channel. You like my BMW? The Camaro is gone. Yes, I love BMW slash Toyota. This car drives so much better than this car right here. And this car costs a few thousand dollars more than this car if you compare MSRP. Let me tell you, the sound system in this Supra is like awesome. I just picked up this car tonight from the dealership. There's about, I would say, I put about 100 miles on the car already. And like I said, it is so much better driving than the Corvette. And it is fast. And I'm telling you, those people that buy these Supras, they have them dyno. They make way more power than what Toyota claims, and I believe it, because this car does not drive like a car with 330 some horsepower. But anyways, yes, I finally, finally bought a new car, and I hate to, you know, uh, disappoint my Camaro subscribers. I would have bought ECL one if there was some, but there aren't any. Because of COVID, plants are shut down. If you guys have been following, car sales have actually went up these last few months because of the incentives and the interest rates. Used cars also went up in prices, at least for now. But inventory is very low on new vehicles due to the fact that because of the fa factory shutdown of COVID-19. But anyways, these Toyota Supras, when they first came out, they were marked up anywhere from 20,000, 10,000, 20,000, and even more. This is a premium. It is loaded to the hill. It was sticker price at $57,240. The only discount I got was the rebate. $3,500 on rebate on this car. So, I jumped on it. One great thing is, they gave me $27,000 on trade on my Camaro SS with 23,000 miles. And I've had it for almost two and a half years. Not quite, but almost. The Camaro SS, with all the incentives and discounts, I literally paid only $33,000 for my Camaro. So I got 27 driving it for a little over two years. Not bad, because by trading it in in the state of Arizona, I save on sales tax. So, in a way, I got almost 29 grand for my Camaro, and I paid 33. Not bad for driving a car for a few years, putting 30 some thousand or 20 some thousand miles on it. Now, keep in mind, the Supra didn't really have a discount other than for the rebate. There's only five of these Supras in the valley here in the Phoenix metro area. I like the black because it matches the Corvette. This is more like a pearl black. Uh, there's some uh, metallic to it. And in certain sunlight, it looks almost like a charcoal gray. But the Corvette is black. It's as black as can be. And this looks more charcoal in the sunlight. It is not as dark as the Corvette, I can tell you that. But anyways, um, like I said, I just bought the car. I love it. I love it. Now I know why people buy German cars because nothing drives better than a German car. Now, the maintenance part of it, I guess I'll see. You know, I go through car cycles every two, three years. I probably won't have to worry about it. But, anyways, got a fabulous interest rate on it, gave me a good trade on my Camaro, so I jumped on it and bought it. And I kept practically the same payment. Of course, I had to put some money down. But anyways, more video to come on the Supra GR. It's a 2020. It's got everything on it. And I have never owned a vehicle with a sound system as good as this. The Bose and the Corvette isn't all that great. But anyways, I will show more videos with the Supra. And we'll do some pulls on it. Uh, Actually, I kind of got on the freeway and already had it up over 100 miles an hour. Bad, bad, bad. 
If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, comment. Tap the notification bell for future videos. And I'll see you in the next one. I just couldn't wait one year for a Corvette either. Thanks for watching. Take care.